what's up you guys come on in come on in this is going to be a great video especially for those of you who are trying to build a fragrance wardrobe so you would build your fragrance wardrobe like you would build any other wardrobe a clothing wardrobe a shoe wardrobe whatever kind of wardrobe in my opinion i feel like it would be the same process so for me I, if i'm gonna build a wardrobe a clothing wardrobe i want something that i could wear like every day easy wear running errands i would also pick items for work if you like the type of person that dresses up corporate and you you know have to be professional and then i would pick something that i would wear on date night for dates and things like that and then i would pick something that I can wear special to an event, like a wedding or like, I don't go to no galas, honey. I, I I don't think I've ever been to a gala, but a gala, okay? Most, some of you probably go to galas. You know events where you have to dress up formal, okay? So in my opinion, Picking a fragrance wardrobe would be along those same lines. So I'm gonna help you guys pick your fragrance wardrobe all right so if you're interested stay tuned all right let's get started so the first category that i mentioned was everyday type scents you know these are the kind of scents where you don't really have to think about it you know me i spend a lot a lot of time picking my fragrances of the day um which is something that you guys probably don't do but when you have such a big collection like i do I spend a lot of time picking my fragrances. When I'm thinking about an everyday scent, an easy grab, something that I don't have to think about, something that I know is gonna smell great, okay? I'm gonna give you two examples of fragrances that I think are very easy, everyday type of wear scents. One is gonna be very affordable and one, well, to be honest with you, they're both affordable, okay? But one is gonna be a little bit cheaper, okay? The first one I'm talking about is Jessica Simpson Fancy. Now, you can find this fragrance at any rack store, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. You can find it online for the low. Like, this fragrance is super affordable. Now, the reason why I picked this fragrance is because it's a beautiful scent. I believe there's caramel in this fragrance and vanilla and maybe a little bit of fruit, maybe pear or something like that. Don't quote me on that. We're not going into notes in this video, okay? We're just picking our fragrance wardrobe. So I picked this one because I feel like I don't have to think about it. I know it's gonna smell great. I know I'm gonna smell good. I know I'm not gonna offend anybody. I know I can wear it anywhere. It's just easy you know what i'm saying easy and that's what i love about a great everyday scent and the fact that it's affordable amazing okay now the next one i feel like is a little bit leveled up okay it's still an easy grab in my opinion i feel like it's affordable you can get them in various uh sizes i think the cheapest is like a cute little 10 10 ml travel size but i have this one in I think it is a 50 ml 1.7 fluid ounces okay this is Kali's uh, vanilla 28 amazing scent this is a beautiful vanilla scent you guys okay it has vanilla of course and brown sugar this fragrance is super addicting I feel like it's one of their most popular scents from the line it's amazing it's gorgeous if you haven't Put your nose on it. I don't even want to spray this on paper because it's too good to spray on paper. I'm going to spray it on my skin. Oh my God. This is a gorgeous scent. I do have this size and I also have a cute little 10 ml. You can also get this fragrance at Sephora. If you can't find it online, if they don't have it, try Sephora. But this is a beautiful scent. It's great for layering. If you want to layer them with your work scents or your date night scents or your special occasion scent you can do that because it's the perfect fragrance for layering so i really enjoy this let me tell you the brown sugar in this fragrance top tier amazing gorgeous now i just want to make note because some of you may be getting into perfumes and you're looking at the color of the juice the reason why it oxidizes or turns color is because of the vanilla so i want to put that little 
quick little tip out there to you. If you have a lot of vanilla fragrances, more than likely over time, they will have a tendency to turn a little darker. That is absolutely normal, so don't freak out. Your fragrance is not old, honey. You didn't, they didn't send you an old fragrance. It's supposed to do that, okay? So I don't wanna make you guys like nervous or anything like that. Vanilla 28 is a great everyday, easy grab scent, nothing to think about. You can also wear both of these fragrances to work if you like. They're interchangeable in that way. They're amazing. They'll go good with any, any occasion, honestly. They're amazing fragrances. Now we're on to work fragrances. Now for me, when I, long time ago, when I had to dress up and go to work, you know, I would pick my fragrances according to, I don't know what I had on or just whatever I wanted to wear for that particular day. To be honest with you guys, there's no rhyme or reason to how I pick my fragrances of the day. If I had to pick how I pick them, maybe I go by mood, number one. And then number two, definitely what I'm wearing because I like for my fragrance to you know coordinate with what i have on okay so i give you two examples of great fragrances to wear to work the first one is irresistible by Givenchy. this is a great fragrance i also keep in mind my co-workers when i'm wearing fragrances to work especially if you work in a, like a cubicle type of setting where you know you're in somebody's space. You know, I'm I'm considerate in that way. Some people really don't give a damn about the fragrances they wear to work, child. He, some of the people that I work with, honey, they need to be watching this video. Girl, don't be mad. I'm just saying, like, some of the fragrances be too much. Like, you can choke a person out at work with a fragrance, okay? But this is a gorgeous scent. This is like a vanilla, fruity type of scent. I don't know what the fruits are in the top in this fragrance, but I know it has some fruit notes. It's a, something very bright in the opening in this fragrance too. But this fragrance is amazing. I think it's great to wear to work, okay? If you're dressing up, please excuse that noise that is my uncle out there doing the yard y'all <laughs> i thought he was done but obviously he ain't irresistible by Givenchy is a great scent to wear when you're dressed up and going to work another one that i think is very amazing it's an amazing scent and every time i smell this scent i'm always reminded of someone very professional like this woman is running her own business she's ceo she's corporate she has it together. She probably uh, wears Chanel to work or something like that. Or Valentino, okay? This is Valentino Donna born in Roma. This is a gorgeous scent. Now, what sticks out to me the most in this scent is the bourbon vanilla. Bourbon vanilla is so sexy, y'all. It is amazing. I know a lot of people have this scent. It is very, very popular uh, in the fragrance community. And as well, it should be because it's an amazing scent. So these are the type of scents that I would gravitate to or grab for if I was in a professional setting and I'm dressed up for work. These two are definitely fragrances I would think about. So when you're out shopping, you wanna keep in mind, you don't have to get these two, okay? Get what you like. But my tip would be to smell the fragrance and wear it okay keep in mind that you're going to work you know there's especially if you work close to other people you know you don't want to offend anybody with your fragrance by all means i am very pro wear what you want to wear honey it's your world but for me i do like to consider other people around me so i when it comes to picking a work scent i tend to go with fragrances I know that I like and that are non-offensive and that I'm gonna get compliments on. Now we're gonna step it up a bit. We're talking about date night, right? You you got a boo, you guys are stepping out for the night, you got your outfit, honey, you got your hair did, nails did, everything did. And you want a fragrance that is going to compliment you. You can also interchange these fragrances with date night and events okay so let's talk about the first one 
Giorgio Armani C. Now this is the reformulated version, but in my opinion, it has the same DNA as the original Giorgio Armani C, okay? This is gorgeous. This is blackberry, I believe. I believe it's vanilla. I think it may have a little bit of patchouli. It may have a little bit of woods, a little bit of musk, but it's heavier, okay? Not like your work fragrance. This is way lighter, okay? It's airy. This one here. This one is going to be a little bit more heavy, you know, kind of like a sweater. You know, when I say heavy, that's just think about you putting on like a cashmere sweater right at the beginning of fall. That's what I mean by heavier. It transitioned. This one is definitely more like summer dress, you know, like a nice flowy dress. This one is going to be like a sweater, okay? Heavy. I hope I explain that right. I hope y'all catching what I'm putting out there, okay? I feel like I need to be dressed up when I wear this fragrance for some reason because it has a, a, t a feel of class. It has a feel of elegance. It has a feel of slight maturity, okay? I wouldn't necessarily say vintage, but it's, it's in that realm, okay, of your Chanel's, your Dior's, things like that, you know? Y'all know what I'm saying. I usually don't wear a Chanel or a Dior unless, you know, it is lighter to work or every day. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to an event in the daytime and the Chanel or Dior is lighter, then I'm going to pull it out. So I hold this, I hold Giorgio Armani up there with the Chanel's and the Dior's and all of them girls, okay? So again, you come in with something extra, like you need a little bit more oomph okay you don't have to pick this one but when you're shopping for your date night fragrances you want something sexy you want something that's gonna go with the occasion whatever the occasion may be where you are you know wearing something a little bit more sexy okay good girl and this is the supreme version now in my opinion it does have the DNA uh, as the original good girl but there's something a little bit more sexier in this fragrance I don't know what it is I can't put my hands on it I don't know if there's two brooks in here but the great thing about it is it's blended to perfection I don't even smell the two brooks thank God but there is something in this fragrance that I find very sexy very appealing very come hither and so when i am looking for a fragrance to wear for a night out on a town and actually i'm going out tonight with my friends to a wine bar um here in houston i actually might wear this one because it's giving me that the feels you know what i'm saying like yes now i now i gotta go figure out what i'm gonna wear this is the type of scent that i would grab for you know it has a lot of sex appeal and I feel like if you're going out for a night on the town, this is going to be perfect for that occasion, you know. So when you're out shopping for a evening fragrance, you know, keep that in mind. You want something that's very alluring. You want something that's very appealing. Something that has a magnetism to it. Something that draws people in and keep them there. And I think this does the job perfectly okay this is one of listen when the good girl first came out baby i used to wear that out all the time and i would get compliments galore not only from men but from women too that is an amazing scent y'all know good girl is the club girl y'all know that okay but i feel like the supreme the supreme is like the older sister, the more mature sister who still likes to go out and have fun, that's supreme. You're still gonna get that beautiful good girl scent with something a little bit more refined, in my opinion, so yes. Okay, now we're talking about special occasions. Now we're talking about galas. We're talking about a wedding. We're talking about black tie events you know if you're that type of person that's always going to special events you want something where you're going to stand out from the crowd you don't want to wear anything i wouldn't necessarily wear anything 
that I've already talked about, to be honest with you. If I'm going to be in a place where there's champagne flowing, you know, I am networking, everybody's dressed up to the nine, everybody's looking good, I'm going to have a tendency to pick a fragrance that I feel like nobody is wearing, okay? Because that's really like a conversation starter. People are gonna smell me and they're gonna be like, wow, what are you wearing? And then I'm gonna go into it and then we'll end up into having a different conversation. So that is my thinking when it comes to me picking a fragrance for a special event, okay? So I have two fragrances here that I feel like are very special event worthy. The first one is from the house of Artelier Cologne. This is Santal Carmen. Oh my goodness. Oh, this fragrance is all about the musk. It's all about the woods in this fragrance. I had a small little sample of this and I went to a friend of mine's birthday party about two years ago. And I had this gentleman, he was like, oh my God, you smell so good. You smell amazing. Like he was literally complimenting me on my fragrance the whole night and I was wearing Santel Carmen and I don't have a lot of Artillier fragrances this happens to be really the only one that I have I have a few samples but there is something amazing about this scent like I don't I can't remember what I had on but I was dressed up because it was a birthday party and it was a little bit of a um it was more like an upscale birthday party it was a lot of people there that you know had money and pulling up in benzes it wasn't like you know a party like at a club club it was like at a, an event you know it was gorgeous decorated y'all see what i'm saying so i needed my scent to i needed to smell like money basically is what i yeah i needed to smell like money i know artillier is no longer available in the state like you can find some of the fragrances in the states but if you want to buy certain fragrances i i believe you're going to have to go to the artillier website so if you see an artillier fragrance that you want and you can get it here without paying that high um shipping rate then by all means do so because this they're going to be hard to get after a while but i had to get this one i actually got this one on sale I want to say it was Saks Off maybe or uh, Nordstrom Rack. I can't remember, but I snatched it up. It was on sale. But this is an amazing scent. So um, I hope that you guys are kind of getting how out the process of how I would go about picking a fragrance for for a special event. Okay. The next one is uh, from Tiziana Terenzi. So I want to make note of this too, you don't have to go niche, okay, for a special occasion or an event. Um, most of the reason why I go niche if I'm picking a fragrance to go to a special event is because I know probably 9 times out of 10, I will be the only one there smelling different. Niche means different it means unique it's not designer it's not necessarily made for the masses you know so they're a little bit more pricier um in that you know aspect but i feel like fragrances are an investment okay i should have said this in the beginning but fragrances are an investment just like you would invest in your wardrobe you would invest a little bit in your fragrance wardrobe as well it's the same concept we're just talking about fragrances right right okay so the next one is Deluxe from Tiziana Terenzi. Now I know this might not be a lot of people's zhush, but I love this fragrance. I feel like there is something fruity in this fragrance. Um, there's definitely a note of coffee and a note of rose, okay? Um, but this would be the type of fragrance that I would grab for. Now I feel like I want to wear this tonight. I don't know which one I'm going to wear. This is a gorgeous scent. It's a very unique, very different. You're not going to walk up in there and you're not going to be smelling like, you know, everybody else in the room. This is this is definitely different. So this is the type of fragrance that I would grab for for a special event, okay, black tie, things of that nature. I would also probably grab for 
uh, Delina Exclusive. Um, even though that's a very popular fragrance, you might, somebody in there might be smelling like Delina, okay? But um, I would also grab for Baccarat Rouge 540. I'm just saying, I know y'all tired of hearing about that fragrance. But I would grab for Baccarat Rouge 540. I would probably grab for fragrance from um, the House of Oud because that's very different. I would probably grab for, and I'm just thinking in my head of what I have in my collection. I would probably grab for something from the House of Fragrance Dubois because they make a, a lot of beautiful, unique fragrances, okay? I'm also thinking I would grab from um, a Juliana's perfume because that's a dupe house and that's another thing I'm gonna before I let y'all go I'm gonna touch quickly on dupe houses so if you're not in the market to spend hundreds of dollars on a fragrance because not everybody is and not everybody wants to period okay dupe houses are great for that okay they're gonna give you the same high-end fragrance but they're not it's not gonna come with that high-end price tag honey I'm here for it, period. There's a fragrance that I recently got from them called Call Me By Your Name. Oh, it's amazing. If you've not seen my video, I will link it. I will put it up here and up top and click on it and go watch it. Honey, that fragrance had me at hello. It was amazing. So those are the type of fragrances that I would go for if I'm going to a black tie event, you know, something that I want to stand out. I want to stand out with my fragrance. Those are, those are what would be the fragrances that I would grab for, okay? So, I hope that this video was informative. Comment down below if it was. As a matter of fact, give me a thumbs up if you found this video to be informative and if you want me to do more videos like this i would be happy to because i love educating the girls okay especially when it comes to something that i love and i love perfume i love fragrances so also if you have any tips or ideas that you want to share on how to build a fragrance wardrobe share them with us hit put it in the comments let me know I'm always down to learn something new too, so let me know. If you have any of these fragrances, let us know how you feel about them, okay? If you are into fragrance, uh, maybe you want to know more about fragrances, maybe you're at the point where you're ready to step up your fragrance collection and you want some new ideas, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell, that way you'll be notified every time I upload and you don't miss out, okay? I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and thank you so much for watching. Mwah. Bye!